Hi there, Ian Dixon here. How are you today? Um, today I've got a mindset video for you, a little bit different. Um, I've been very privileged over the last 15 years to sit in front of hundreds and hundreds of very successful business owners. And there's some really common uh, traits, character traits, and um, uh, ways in which these people think and their mindset towards their growth and their success. And if you're a business owner and you want to know what some of those traits are and you want to um, uh, mirror or understand uh, what is it that they've got that maybe you would like, then you're in the right place. Stick with me for the next, there's 10 of these. I've listed 10, I I'm gonna go through them with you. So my guess is we're probably looking at maybe six, seven minutes. So if, you, if that's of interest to you, the mindset of uh, successful business owners, then uh, stick around and I'm gonna go through them with you. Um, but before we do, if you would be kind enough just to click on the subscribe, that would be super, thank you very much. Uh, but without further ado, I think probably the best thing to do is get into it. So the, uh, the growth mindset of successful business owners. So um, the first, I mean, some of these might just be common sense things to you, but uh, as a collective, they all exhibit all of these things. So my advice to you would be to grab a, a pen and a piece of paper maybe and list these 10 um, mindset traits down and maybe look at where uh, in, 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 on areas where maybe you could improve. So anyway, <clears throat> let's get into them. So the first one is that they recognize that uh, when, when they make mistakes, that there is something always, without exception, there is always something to be learned. If something hasn't gone the way that it should have done, if something hasn't worked out right, two, two things really. One is that they acknowledge uh, and recognize that there is something to learn. But the other thing is that it's evidence that at least they're doing something. So, so they don't actually mind too much that if they've made a mistake, at least they're up and doing something. Because if you're not doing anything, actually that, that, there's a mistake in itself. So the first one is that they will learn from their mistakes. They will always stop and understand what could I have done better. Um, the second one uh, is quite interesting because it only really came to the table for me about three years ago. Um, and then I did some research on it and the, there's lots of really good strong evidence to support this second one. Is that successful people, their mindset is that they have an expectation and an understanding of just how long uh, something might take for them from a growth or a success perspective. <clears throat> And so instead of just setting out and not knowing or not really having any understanding on how long something's going to take, they stop, understand and assess before they even set off. Just um, set their expectation and have an understanding of how long something's going to take. And the research I did was, uh, the, the, the reveal if you like from that research was that those that have a good understanding of just how long something's going to take before they set off are far more likely to get to the destination than those that just set off not knowing how long something's going to take. So um, the, the uh, character trait, if you like, is that they have an expectation on how long something's going to take. Um, in fact, uh, I recently uh, was sat with a, another coach, if it, I, I would say she was a coach, I know she says that she's not a coach, but essentially she's a business expert and a business trainer. Um, and she, one of her character traits is that she's incredibly impatient and, so, and, and wants everything now. And it's something that, uh, which is fine, absolutely, because it's a great driver. But what you have to do is temper some of that. If there is no way to make something come quicker, you have to, at the very least, uh, temper some of that and, and be patient and know that this is a long haul game and not a sprint. Um, that uh, number three, uh, believe that you can learn um, w when it's hard. So if something is uh, very difficult to overcome, that uh, that there is going to be a learning there. So this isn't a mistake. This is fr from doing something that's really difficult. 
without exception in all of life, if you're doing something that's really hard to do, there will be something to learn from that. And again, successful business owners that pick something up that they need to learn how to do, they know that there's added value in learning whatever that is that they need to do. It could be marketing, it could be systems, it could be recruitment, it could be how to sell, it could be building a website. But certainly, personally, some of the things that I've set about learning how to do that were hard, part of um, the driver for me is I know that I'm loading my toolbox with additional um, content that's going to help me further down the line. So, so recognizing that um, uh, that you're learning something new, it, just because it's hard, you know, that's you know, is, there, there is lots of added value to that. So. Um, number four is finding different ways to do something. Love this one. So um, it, it comes up a lot in my work. So I might be sat with somebody in a, in a coaching meeting, a business coaching meeting, and, and they'll, we'll be talking about how to resolve a challenge or something isn't working the way that we want it to work. And, uh, and uh, so often, you know, if there's a, a, a bullish sort of commitment to doing something just one way um, doesn't always you know mean that you're going to get that's the success that it needs and so uh, people with good growth and success mindsets they recognize that there must be another way to do this so uh, and I've always been a problem solver, solver right, right back from school one of the things that used to be in my school reports was that I was always good at problem solving so and so this excites me when when something isn't working the way that it was set out to work I love sitting down and working out different ways to make something work see this in successful people um, that they don't actually even worry about um, if, if something's not going to work because they know that they'll sit down and work out another way. Number five is an interesting one is that, um, that, that, that my coachy line is that uh, the obstacles and barriers that are in the way uh, that they are there for a reason they are there to help me understand just how much I want to get there and so again successful people will recognize that for every barrier that they have to overcome to get to the end or to get to the success point that they're trying to get to, they know that whoever's coming up behind them has got to climb over those barriers too. And so um, as the successful people recognize that the, that the barriers are there to self-assess just how much do you actually want this? Uh, do you want to climb over that barrier this month? Is, is that something that you're prepared to overcome? It's a test. It's a test just to see how much you actually want something. So, so there, there's almost this whole, like, I'm so going to climb over this. So this isn't going to be in the way. So that's number five. Um, uh, number six, uh, don't see uh, quite so much. Uh, sometimes I'll ask this question. It's something I've personally struggled with whenever I get asked the question. But it does sit in there uh, because it does come up is that uh, successful people uh, and people with growth mindsets are people that are inspired uh, by others so they will um, uh, rather than have a uh, resentful or a jealous kind of attitude to people that have succeeded it's actually the reverse of that there's an, a sense of admiration and a strive to want to be like so uh, most of the successful people that I work with, if I was to ask them, they'd be able to name somebody and uh, having somebody to aspire to be like and to learn from, uh, even if it's not um, uh, directly, but indirectly, then uh, again, is, is always a great thing to have from a mindset perspective. Um, the next one's quite interesting. So it's almost the reverse of that. So um, I'll show you just the tiniest of stories because I'm conscious of the time. Um, is that, uh, in fact, number seven is learn from other people's mistakes, not your own. Um, is that they will watch others in business and uh, identify when they're doing something that they would never do and, and make note of that. So, and so rather than learn from your own mistakes, you learn from other people's mistakes. So I can remember as a young 18, 19 year old dri doing my Panda course, I used to be a policeman dri driving Panda cars. I can remember doing my Panda course training um, I was sat in the back seat and I got told off because I was looking out the window and I wasn't watching what the driver at the time was doing. 
and the instructor said to me, uh, watch what he's doing because he's making mistakes. It's far less painful to learn from other people's mistakes than it is your own. That stayed with me all these years and it's something I see in successful people. They will see when other people are making mistakes, they will acknowledge and make note of it so that they don't burn their fingers too. Number eight is that the, uh, successful, the successful ones and those with the, this growth mindset recognize that it's meant to be tough. They, they never set out to make easy. They want to enjoy the process but they, it isn't about setting out to be easy. I don't think it's ever gonna be easy. On the contrary, you should embrace, you know, it's like marathon running. Marathon running isn't meant to be easy. Marathon running is meant to be tough. The whole sense of achievement comes from the toughness of the activity. So running a business is a crazy thing to do. So few of us do it. So there's a reason for that. And that's because it's tough. So, and uh, the, the, the business owners with this growth attitude and this growth mindset are very good at uh, embracing the toughness of it. Yeah, there are times when I sit with people and they are at their wits end. You know, I've been there on more than one occasion where I've been scratching my head thinking, what am I doing? Like, you know, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. It's way, way tougher than I was expecting. So, in the early years and so um, but it's recognizing that it is meant to be tough you know it is meant to be difficult number nine is uh, that this whole growth thing is being able to visualize the um, the outcome and being able to I was with somebody uh, it was this morning it was today so I was sat with somebody this morning and I said tell me what it looks like and she was incredibly articulate never breathed you know never took a breath just flooded me with this amazing visual representation of what it looks like when it's done and it, it just love that that's a very very powerful uh, character trait in people that uh, have this growth mindset is that they can see and describe and articulate what it looks like when it's finished um, the only thing I would add to that, and certainly part of my work, is when somebody is very good at articulating what that looks like, is I encourage them then to document that in some way, shape, or form, because you then have a double visualization. You've got it here, but it isn't truly something to be visualized until you can actually visually see it. So, and then the last one is is kind of a um, it, I, I, I struggle with it a little bit. Uh, because sometimes I'll say uh, it's okay to stop, uh, but actually uh, the successful people just keep going. They just keep doing it uh, because of their belief in what it is that they're doing and even more so because of the love and passion of what it is that they're doing and how clear they are on where they're going and what they want to achieve. Now, the caveat for me is that if you fall out of love with it, if you become resentful of it, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, it is time to stop and have a sanity check just to make sure that what it is that you're selling or whatever it is that you're um, serving as a product or service, is it still relevant? Is it still uh, current? And is it something that is adding value to other people's lives? So because we live in a world now where if you're in a hole and you're digging for that gold and you're, and you're not enjoying it, climb out and dig another one, you know, and then climb out and dig another one. But once you're clear about purpose and once you have an understanding of what's involved and you love what you're doing, then you just keep going. And the successful ones absolutely just keep going. There you go. That was it really, um, uh, learning from their mistakes, have an expectation on how long things will take, uh, believe that you can learn um, when it's really, you know, learn from something that's really hard, find different ways to get to the solution, uh, obstacles are there to help you just, uh, help you understand just how much you want something, be inspired by others, learn from the mistakes of others, um, uh, know that it's meant to be tough. They visualize the outcome with absolute clarity and they just keep going. Hope you found that useful. Um, that was a slightly longer video today. We're nearly up to 15 minutes, but look, hey, we do try and keep these under 10 minutes. Um, it's fine. There's a lot of really uh, interesting content in there. I'm sure that you'll find it useful. If you enjoyed that, please do click on the subscribe button. We'd love to have you on board as a subscriber. Uh, we are gonna be uploading over 300 videos throughout the rest of the year. If you'd like to be notified when they're uploaded, click on the bell. 
and we look forward to catching up with you on the next video. Bye for now.